Big yikes. You give an extra. Because I was at this party, and when you arrived, you were shook. You were tossing shade all over the place because within minutes, you yeeted right out of that party. Yeah, okay. yeet, yeah. He's a snap. Cap, I don't even know how to You're eat. Up. That's Cap, Your Honor. It's all giving right, leading questions. Be I said, boom. I take my shorty out, right? We go to this little spot. It's the spot is kind of like a little casino slash club. We got a little. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody passed my. Like, it devalues yeah, let me know. the woman when you go through multiple men and have multiple baby daddies. We don't want to never... deal with that. If you got three kids and three baby daddies, it's like, damn, your decision making skills are horrible. Y'all forget okay. that y'all the ones who right there. And then y'all forget that we're well, I'm 41 years old. I got a 25 year old child. So you're basing your perception of me from 25 years ago. I don't give a I'm damn. not that person that I, I'm not that kid. Who cares? And then 10 years from now, you're gonna be like, I'm about to say woman I was when I was 41. You always got some way to get out of your mess. Get to the gym, by the way. Get your big ass to the gym. That I was 25 years ago, and I'm not that young adult that I was 25 years ago. I've grown from that. I've healed. You obviously have grown from that. Right around here, right around here, and right here. Yeah, look like you done grown quite a bit up in this back, big back, big back area, and in these cheeks as well. From that, I now make better choices, better decisions, wow. no, no, and no, no, I no. live more of. No, 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 no. Not when it comes to eating, obviously. Not when it comes to eating and exercise. A, a healthy love. Oh, no, life. you did not. Now she's talking about healthy what? A healthy love while everything else is unhealthy? Come on, man. You get what you deserve. Life, you wow. know? Be consistent. Then I did then. So you're going to tell me, oh, well, you got this many kids. Ooh, I 10. can't date you. No, oh, but that happened. No, I ain't got nothing to do with your kids. Got to do with that double to triple chin action she got going on here man and then look the alopecia going on the receding hairline jump look at this we got some yeah she might be a power lifter or something here there's a lot going on with this woman and then the mouth the mouth on top of that the mouth Anyway, I mean, 25 not, years ago the number at what kids. point are you going to give grace it's, like at and how long are you going to um, I don't want to use the word punish, you know, for lack of a better word. No, lady, it's not punishment. Take the rose out of your coochie for a minute. Get to the gym and listen to me. All right. You're not our preference, fool. You're just not our preference, man. We don't want you. We don't. We're not punishing you. We're not doing all this, bringing up your past. We just don't want you. We got better options or we'll just beat our dick like it owe us money. We don't need you. Shut the hell up. Does it make you feel better? Does it? Getting on here and babbling off to a man, does it make you feel better when you still got to go home, take that makeup off, take all that spank stuff off, and then cry in the mirror and try to help yourself get to sleep at night alone in whatever big overpriced high interest rate home you have? Man. Hurts. <laughs> A woman for her past. It's like Brian came out and said, I don't judge a woman from their past. You know, judged. we all make mistakes. Exactly. And then he basically just flat out judged. That's the gentleman's exactly. preference. We're not judging you for how many kids. Yeah. It's how many baby fathers you got. If you okay. if you get with a guy and I'm 40 years old, per yeah. se, and I have eight kids by by six different women, yeah. that says something. And then everybody's situation is different. Oh, here we you go. Somebody passed my just can't win with them. We gon' do this shit out to my last blast. Blood, I meditate and smoke and set my prayers up. Wanna know the vibe why I don't stress none? Cause I do this shit out to my last blast. We gon' do this shit. A man should not coddle a woman all day mm. and just be with in a woman's presence because a woman is not designed to just be with you all day. Mm. And you got like some men. I got homies. Oh, I'm just. I want to make sure she's good. I'm be with her. Uh. No, she's gonna respect. Now, that dude want to be underneath that woman because he want something that reminds him of his mama. You know, you ain't supposed to be another woman all day, man. Let her do her job, man. Handle her business in the morning. Give you that top. Then you go about your day. You catch up with her later on and get some of that coochie. You know what I mean? Sitting around her all day listening to her babble, man. You'll sound like these dudes online that sound kind of sweet.
because they listen to women too much and they sound like a woman now. Nah, man. Nah. You less. He's supposed to set a certain time, a time slot from six to eight. That's yours. Give her the whole planet in those two hours and she'll respect you. There you go. Way more. Blow her back out in those two hours. There you go. Listen to her stories, elevate her mind, yeah. turn her world upside down, yeah. and that allotted time, and then you go back to your purpose. But a Absolutely. man should not just be under a woman all day. I know I was talking over him a lot, so I'm letting him play through again because I know y'all don't like that, but it is what it is. I am who I am, but he's speaking facts. The man should not coddle a woman all day mm. and just be within a woman's presence because a woman is not designed to just be with you all day. Mm -hmm. And you got like some men, I got homies, oh, I'm just, I wanna make sure she good, I'll be with her. No, she's gonna respect you less. He's supposed to set a certain time, a time slot from six to eight that she will give wonder. her the whole planet in those two hours. And she'll respect you way more. Blow her back out in those two hours. Listen to her stories, elevate her mind, turn her world upside down. And that a lot of time, and then you go back to your purpose. But a man should not just be under a woman all day and you should always be making a woman's mind wonder there needs to be plenty air of mystery with you you don't need to be telling her shit you don't need to tell her nothing man you do what you got to do she get on board or she get lost let's go now what are they gonna say a man that's a millionaire could date a girl that works at burger king yeah but i, I mean, understand you I trying to get me copy wrote up in here man what's up on to the next. We for each other. Y'all don't wear we for us. I, I guarantee. Mm. Don't wear we for each other. Y'all don't wear we for us. I, I guarantee you probably is if it's five guys, three to four of us don't like we, but we will take it though because that's what y'all do. But Excuse me. we don't prefer that stuff. Y'all wear that to be in competition with each other. You know what you know? He is really uh, delusional. Right? That's real. That is so hey, I, I'm gonna get to this clip in a second, but. What my man right here is saying, Black Radio, is facts. The more you're around her, the more she's going to study you. And she's going to learn your vulnerabilities, your weaknesses, the ways that she can, um, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, get you to calm down, relax, you know, just kind of like uh, just put you to sleep a little bit, having your mind out of it. And she's going to be running you, man. She's going to be running because by nature, she's going to try to study you, especially as modern women. They study men that they like all day long. They will study the men that they like online podcasters and stuff like that and then make counter content. But the men that they're studying are the men that they find attractive. Why are you making counter content to the men you find attractive? Because they're studying to learn them, to argue with them. That's what they do. That's what they do, man. Oh, oh, no. I don't wear we for each other. Y'all don't wear we for us. I, I guarantee you probably is, if it's five guys, three to four of us don't like we, but we will take it though because that's what y'all do. But we don't prefer that stuff. Y'all wear that to be in competition with each other. You know what you're saying? Saying? He is uh, really you delusional. Right? That's real. That is so. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I don't wear we for each other. Okay, so I feel that if a fella is talking to a young lady, he is not considered daddy. Hold on. Hey, gentlemen. Now, remember, before she gets started, she said, I feel and all that. We're not to entertain anything that she about to say. She didn't say based off of or according to the statistics, the statistics of, da, 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 you know, or, you know, the study says, I feel, hey, are you smashing her? Are you smashing her? Are you smashing her? No, 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 we're not. So we don't really care what she feels like, but we'll let her talk. She has a pretty face. Hold on. Although I have a father, I don't call my father for anything if I'm in relationship with a gentleman. Okay? If I'm in relationship with a guy, that is my daddy. And the moment that we are no longer together is the moment I will call my father to help me. But if it's a man laying next to me, around me, on top of me, beside me, he is the person I'm calling on, depending on, leaning on. Yep. And this is a golden rule that all she's talking about is different things a man needs to do for her. She ain't saying nothing about partnership, about building together, about it's just about what he is doing for her, for him to get that daddy, whatever um, 
uh, nickname that she's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. My father and I have agreement. Like, hey, you know I ain't gonna call you because I got a man. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you should. You better. What he doing? You know what I'm saying? It's just my my thought. But do as you feel and do as you want. But if he laying next to you, you better be doing the work. Put him. Yeah, you better be working, boy. You better be working for whatever leftover she's giving you. And then if you're a father, hell, you might want to make sure she has a boyfriend because she's going to be going to you to get you to work. Trust me, my 70 year old dad. Oh, yeah, he'd be working, man. Still, still, he has two daughters. I got two older sisters. You best believe he's still working, man, man. Excuse me. Yeah. Not today. Hey, like black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I go broke. I go broke. Period. I have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. <laughs> boy, I need four five jobs to make you happy. Boy, you is. Yeah, you got some pretty toes. Hey, yeah, you look like a black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. <laughs> you a Christian? Yes. Okay. In that whole long Bible, give me one Bible verse. Matthews ten twenty two. You shall be hated for preaching my word. That's ironic you say that because you haven't been preaching his word. You've been making up the word. That verse in Matthew is referring to men because the Bible specifically says that women should not be preachers or speakers of the word. And when they don't understand the word, they should ask a man. And when they're in the church house, they should sit in silent subjection to men. Is that in the Bible? Yeah. Let me see. see what it's no, it did. Yeah, I'm glad I brought that up. Uh, yeah, man. See, listen, these are very important. You know what I'm saying? For women, if you're going to be quoting Bible verses, you understand that a man's going to automatically go to Timothy. Know that. Know we're going to automatically go to Timothy, man. Don't even try to bring up anything else or well there was this one woman that uh was leading uh when god needed her to man you bring that one off story of this woman up that's cool are you her no you're not and most of all of his prophets were men you know and it says you need to look up that timothy verse man it's very clear about what they think about women trying to take the power of a man to try to be in power of men and try to usurp power from men you, you in how they should be learning. Very clear. The same Bible that you reference all the time. Now, I know I'm have some podcasters and, you know, what I'm saying some women on the peef jumping on, trying to counter what I'm saying about Bible verses. You know, what I'm saying tomorrow or the day after they love to watch the men they find attractive, hate, watch them take notes and then jump on a panel or their own goofy ass little podcast and run their goofy ass mouths. And they have no man. They have because if they had a man, he would deal with that crap. I was married. I know they have no man. They're just sitting here taking notes, curled up on their couch with their goofy little blanket with their AC up watching me. You know, what I'm saying in 4K. Enjoying yourselves, aren't you? Salute, you raggedy ass motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You're going to stay single. You ain't going to catch any strays. Ain't nobody dealing with y'all. You a little snack. You know, she a whole witch. Fuck, nigga, I'm a garden. You take care of me, I'll feed you forever. Fuck? And ever and ever and ever. Your great-grandchildren will reap the benefit. Only a witch would bring up your great-grandkids, man. Let's go. Who hell? That one tastes nice, man. This tastes different. Hold on, man. Hey, see, this just some damn broccoli. What the hell? I don't eat no goddamn broccoli. That dog knew something was up. That dog was like, hell no. Look at this dog in my eyes. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, see, this just some damn broccoli. What the hell? I don't eat no goddamn broccoli. That dog mad as hell, too. I've never seen a good looking man want a polygamous relationship. I never seen it. You don't get 25 to life without killing somebody, right? You're never wrong for wanting to support your husband. I don't care what nobody say. You're not even the Facts, main man. wife, and you got a problem. Facts, man. When a woman, when a woman like got all that, because she had like a dream catcher and she had like evil eye protection on, you only wearing that shit because you do that shit. 